This was uh, uh, another in a, a series of uh, live fire demonstration projects to help those in the world of fire and building uh, related safety services understand the importance of water mist fire protection. Uh, the prop uh, behind us that uh, we did our activity in today has been used uh, to show fire marshals and fire authorities, building officials from all over the United States and even a number of foreign countries uh, about the innovations related to water mist fire protection. Today we had uh, scenario-based demonstrations for the auto mist, uh, water mist system. So we had three demonstrations today. We had a typical residential, multifamily kind of setup. We had a kitchen, we had a living room, and we had a bedroom. And uh, we set the uh, system up in each location, had a actual fire, and uh, watched the system perform. Water mist system is an easy to retrofit water mist system. Um, it's typically used where it's difficult to retrofit a sprinkler system. Um, what's unique about it is it uses much less water um, and also because of its design uh, you can sort of plug it into a place uh, relatively easily. Um, you don't have to have a tank or run a network of pipes and you can install it much in a similar way to installing a power shower. So we selected a, a, a small but a powerful pump um, for our particular um, product. Um, the main reason is that some of the, one of the biggest issues with traditional sprinkler systems um, is that you require sometimes to expand a main or bring a, ma a main to get the, the amount of water required to suppress the fire. Um, water mist is unique in that you really just use a, a small amount of water. Um, most of the water is sort of suspended within the air um, um, so you can get that sort of environment with a, with a, small, with a much smaller pump. Sprinklers run from 30, 13 to 30 gallons a minute. This uses one and a half gallons a minute. So it does, it does ex extinguish the fire in a short period of time and with much less water, and it, you have less water damage. So the Automist system begins with an initiating device. In this case, we used a heat detector. Once the heat detector turned on, that turned the system on. It has a scanning head, which allows it to take a look at the room it scans the room and figures out what the hottest location in the room is, and that's where it points the head, and after that, the pump turns on and provides the mist directly to that hot spot. From our test thus far, it's done a magnificent job because it, does, it, it uses less water and puts out the fire more quickly. It was really interesting. Um, I hadn't seen before where, in this case, an infrared camera scans the room and uh, finds the point of heat and then focuses the water suppression at that location. That's something new I have never seen before and was really effective in getting to the fire quickly. In all three of the water mist tests, what was very interesting was how quickly the system responded each time. The amount of water that was used in each instance was very small and upon conclusion of the test, there was virtually no damage at all to the room or the contents. The use of water mist fire protection is really kind of a, a universal uh, application. It can be used in libraries and museums. Uh, it can be used in areas where a large flows of water are of particular concern, like computer uh, rooms and areas where really sensitive electronic equipment. But taking those successes and using them in uh, areas where people live and sleep, whether it's hotels or nursing homes or hospitals or high-rise apartments buildings or single-family homes. This water uh, uh, mist fire protection initiative is something that Marriott Fire Protection had a lot of success with around the world and in fact in many, many hotels, many of them retrofitted, many of them high-rises, many of them very, very old. So water mist has proven itself uh, to fire officials around the world and only now gaining acceptance in many parts of the country. This water mist technology has some good promise in residential areas without large amounts of public water, uh, potentially out in parts of the United States and the Midwest. As water becomes more scarce, these systems will work very well. The technology is relatively simple to use, and I would also see this technology probably being expanded into areas where we have multiple residencies, uh, people living together in group arrangements. This technology suits itself very well 
uh, both as a new construction or as a retrofit construction. We're on, on the, uh, the crest of a, of a new s system that will do exceptionally well and have, have less water damage and cause less damage.